Prometheus, you are not just here to give us information, right? Right. Didn't you say you have a plan? As an AI that can be mounted on a Hersher core to form a divine key, I can help Branya change the Hersher core's composition. Think of it as simulated metamorphosis. It's not an actual technical term, just a name I gave it now. Simulated metamorphosis. This technology isn't comparable to the real metamorphosis. Please understand that it only demonstrates what algorithm is used by Project Stigma to influence 300,000 minds. If it can point us towards a counterattack, perhaps we can disregard its power. However. Although we had in-depth exchanges, Brania still doesn't understand. Prometheus, based on what stance are you helping us? When we parted last time, you didn't tell us your understanding of Project Stigma. Remember my self-introduction when we first met. I'm a pessimist. It'd be pointless to hammer ideas you can't yet understand into you. It only make it harder for you to coordinate. And as I said, even if I don't appear here, you can close in on the truth by yourselves. You're avoiding Branya's question. How about I've inherited Dr. May's stance according to my understanding? Branya, to the Hersher of Reason's core, Project Sigma is a hack from the outside. It hijacks the 300,000 minds, causing them to lose their original stories and become slaves to Project Sigma. And since Project Stigma is a dream, the best remedy is to wake them up. Of course, I'm not saying you should purposely go through the fragments of consciousness, trumpet blaring. You should copy Project Stigma's code and make a reverse signal. Putting on pressure locally. Once we break through, you can rip apart this web of fiction all at once. I see. Fighting fire with fire. Yes, there's a risk. However, there's no guarantee the 300,000 minds won't be harmed in the process. In bringing them together, you may lose them forever. It's okay. Branya had already made up her mind. The Hersher of Reason's core has been passed down to the present day to help humanity not be preserved. In the story's beginning, while Joy sacrificed himself, now that it's Branya's turn, I'm not going to throw in the towel. Good. That leaves the matter of imitating the signal. Get ready, Branya Zaychik. I will now show you all the code that I know. Code? Project Stigma source is genetic. Not to mention, the code is the strongest narrative tool that humanity can master. What are you doing? It's easier to just explain Project Stigma's underlying code than give you a book to read.
project Sigma's lowest level logic is existence. This is what fictions is built on, and the origin of all abstract concepts. It's built on existence. The words aren't important. At any rate, they ex they express existence's two most important properties: substance and variability. Ideas are at the core of Project Stigma. Ideas give people enlightenment and reflect an outline of what we call truth. Ideas will always have contradictions, but this is how they express existence and remove the boundary between fiction and reality. For Project Stigma, life is the most direct idea, while absoluteness is the highest idea. This way, absoluteness of life is set within fiction, so it can be liberated from individuality and become a truth in and of itself. Typically, the cause of such transcendence is death. It's difficult to resist death, as it's a paradox in itself. Life seeks universality through fiction, but only exists individually. And so, with Project Sigma, the death of the individual advances the spirit. As far as it's concerned, civilization is built from the bones and eulogies of generations of people. Oh, this is. Brania, are you okay? Don't worry. Brania took the opportunity to speak to something mechanical other than Project Bunny. This is the appropriate channel for you, between what's efficient and what you can tolerate. Otherwise, the system will flood our mind with information, right? Even if you add up all human intellects from ancient times to now, they could not withstand the vast amount of data that machines use. That would be the easiest and most practical way a machine could deal with humans. But they can't handle the hurt of thunder. Indeed, but that's irrelevant. Let's focus on the hurt of reason. Brania, I have just helped you learn about Project Stigma's underlying code. Even though you have very little power left, you can become a true herder of reason by slowly reclaiming the 300,000 minds. But you still need heuristic algorithms to help find a critical path, rather than aimlessly traversing all the nodes. And if you follow your strategy, the hurdle of reason can become the key to your surpassing project stigma. Heuristic algorithms. You mean the 300,000 minds aren't all equal, and Brania can succeed by controlling the keynotes? You learn quickly, so let's put this to test and see how you do. You've come. Clay, did anything happen here? 
just new discoveries. You don't look so well. Thank you, Clay, but I'm fine. I must cheer up and do what I can more than ever. I believe this is more meaningful than idling. So, what did you discover? To put it simply, I accidentally found things from the previous era. Perhaps I should have called them artifacts. I'd like you to collect more of them for me, if possible. But based on my discoveries, they aren't of much help to the sanctuary at present. That's why I won't assign more of my work time to them. I understand. As I explained, this isn't urgent. You only need to keep an eye out for them outside. According to Great Serpent, they have been used up in that era. Alvin's notes, remains of the old world. It mostly records hearsay, so basically everything in it is nonsense except for several familiar names. Someone jotted down what he had seen about the world. 
Most are gossips that faintly reveal the extremes of people's imagination of heroes' personal lives. That being said, there were some sincere words that made you wish it would be great if those had been more than hearsay. On the last page, the owner named Alvin said he didn't want to write any more, but he hoped that the beautiful false hearsay could be passed on forever. Oh, I never expected that there would be so many different accounts about the story of that natural daughter, Clayne. Um, why mention my name, Clayne? Seeing the notes handed by the girl, although Clayne did not voice her surprise, she still paused for a moment. What's wrong? Nothing. You are faster than I expected. And as I expected, they're hardly valuable to the sanctuary. Contrary to her words, she's putting them away very carefully. I suppose you're talented in this field. Such jobs usually require more luck than effort. For example, the nature of these notes is not something I expected. Nature. Yes, the content is mostly unreliable, with some of it being blatant rumors. But it does contain information on the previous era, and one entry provides a unique indexing method that can help us find relics of memorial value. I'll put together a list from them. From now on, if you find anything, please be extra careful with it. For us, they will be unrepairable legacies. I will do as my predecessors and use Project Sigma's power to recall a new memory for you. If that goes well, your power should at least return to where it was before you fight with Kevin. Predecessor? You just met him. I shouldn't have to repeat his name. Well, Joyce. We're here. It seems to be mixed with things other than memories. Good. It appears that you've learned how to differentiate between categories. Project Sigma has planted into 300,000 mines as a wedge, and made it possible for a foreign body to infiltrate. Pressure of reason. Go. You will soon know why. She was born among the clouds, a mist among the setting sun. She had yet to awake to her own consciousness, and yet to know the desolation of this plain. She doesn't understand the bloodied, painful, sore picture has left its stain of tears on this pale earth more than once. She doesn't know she will become a bad omen to this girl, a horrible symbol in the hearts of others, until ten years later. 
Now it's time to tell you where the ghost town is, Alexandra. Ghost town where Brania was born. Correct. Siberia has many ghost towns, but only one where your mother, Alexandra, used to live. You are ten years old now, old enough to recognize danger, keep yourself safe, and what it means to be a soul survivor. I think you have a right to know where your hometown is. Like how Vlad always said, he was a Moscovite. Haha, <laughs> that's all he's got going for him. I would never say I'm from Nizhny Tagil. And, but the Ural Mountains have a special place in his heart. The Ural Mountains, that's where the variance is. Seeing the memories using Prometheus' method, the third Hersha of Reason noticed something was off. The name, the Silver Wolf of the Worlds, inherited from Maxim, symbolized the girl's past. But the girl has yet to understand that on this planet, another one's fate was once intertwined with hers. She repaired the memory with information implanted in it and regained a bit of her power. Congratulations, Brania. You found her earliest secret. Her? You know who I mean. The real issue is, with the help of Project Sigma, she has mixed her memories in with your now unstable core. As you suggested, she fears the Hirsch of Reason's power because of the similarities between it and Project Sigma. No, that's not her intention. But it's her action that's important. The information she implanted has the power to er erode the core. But no need to panic. By doing the opposite, you have a chance to take back the initiative and separate from her. And Kiana and May? I'll send them to a location in the space that's easier for them to break out of. Once you get your power back, they'll return to reality. So Brania needs to unmask and the implant so it has nowhere to hide in the Hirsch of Reason's core. Yep, you summarized that well. The Hirsch of Reason, its power is dissipated by excessive fiction and restored by a return to reality. Does Brania have a presence in the memories? This is the space you located in the Hersher of Reason's core. It's the original appearance of the implant. Only she that's close to Project Stigma will be able to reach deeper, and you, the Hersher of Reason. But the Hersher core is a fixed point in imaginary space. If you keep going, you open a path for your friends to return to reality. What will Brania see? A twisted heart. You may think of her as the exact opposite of Wild Joyce. She is afraid of the Hersh of Reason because of Project Sigma. She is also jealous of the Hersh of Reason. 
You need to understand. She isn't purposely working against you. Regardless, you both are daughters of Siberia, children of the Uro Mountains. Prometheus. The signal has dropped. No, this isn't because of me. I'm not. As the sigma crystal, she didn't seem to get where the pain in her heart was coming from. But this had already been explained long ago. Everyone that can be called a human has a giant snake coiled around their heart, like a tyrannical ruler. Whenever someone says "I want." The snake says no. Shea, I know. 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 Sh